In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to use the Quiz Wizard, which is a game maker for students to boost student engagement with, with real-time classroom quiz racing or different kind of questions that the students can get engaged with to answer and make learning fun and interesting. The Quiz Wizard makes it easy to get students excited about formative assessment, create custom quizzes, track your class progress with a, just a few clicks. So you have a bunch of options over here. So once you launch the quiz students can join with using their mobile phones and they can be able to see questions and answer they can easily answer once they are online and connected with the game with the game they can easily answer the questions from their phone and at the end you can see the winner and you can even share gift and surprises for the winners so this is quite interesting and it functions like more or less like kahoot if you have used kahoot before this is something similar to it but it's just a slight difference. I'll make a video also on how to use Kahoot for your information. But for now, teachers love us. This is what they are saying about us. So these are what teachers are saying. So how it works. You design your game board first. You just go to your game board, upload any kind of background and try to design the game board according to how you want it. And then you write your questions down how you want it and then you can launch your game and invite your students you can launch your game and invite them through a simple code like this so they can just visit the website and just use it to log in and just join and answer the questions directly and then you, uh, the last stage is you can analyze your results and even get the winner immediately after the game it's a very nice and interesting website to try and um, bring in fun to your teaching style so you have the monthly plan usually you can check out the pricing the monthly plan you can have you can create unlimited games online and you can share with up to 10 players in a game so if you have a larger class you should consider subscribing to their pro version which can take up to 50 players in a game and question images and videos uh, and audios you can you can have unlimited games you can have unlimited question images video and an audio you can have question bank and you can have you can, you can have access to question bank custom avatars private games download details report and download a detailed report from the software from the platform so but for now we're going with the free version so let's say we start now you just need to create the player and demonstrate how it's been used if you are interested in checking out or buying the pro version then it's up to you you can go ahead and try it okay so what do you want to do i want to play a game i want to create a, or host a game so i'm not a student i am a, a teacher that i want to host a game or i want to create a game for my students to join and try it okay so we'll click on this so you create your quiz wizard account so you just click you start with your username yeah you can take a tour if you want but for now let's say no need so you can just close you can build your own classroom quiz game over here directly on your own so once you get into this dashboard okay the first thing you need to look at is you can make a game from scratch directly okay this is a trial version so you have 29 days left on your trial a quiz wizard pro okay so you can make a game let's try to make a game and see how it works okay so the first thing is design your game board this is where you design a game board for players to race don't worry it's quick okay so you can just close this and you choose from a template or you can design your own start by uploading a background image if you have a background image you can browse browse pixabay and you can or you can upload on your own so let's say we have we can browse on pixabay and check in any image so you can see a bunch of images okay depending on what and what is your subject or what and what are you trying to see to see and you can always show more to see a bunch of a bunch of other backgrounds okay so let's say i think i like kind of like this one so let's say we select it and we choose it so great choice now click anywhere on the board to add the spaces to create a path so let's say we, we have to create a sp spaces so path are where you can arrange the questions and all that okay, so let's say we want a circle space or you can go with square also if you want but we want a circle space so let's say we we'll click on anywhere to add so let's say this is question one this is question two this is space three this is space four this is space five okay this is space five and this is space six okay so once you're done you're satisfied you can play around with the sizing over here if you want you can increase it or decrease it accordingly so let's say we make it this much big and you can de you can delete or you can change the coloration inside once you click on this you can change the coloration right now it's set to yellow to green you're free to change it to any color but i think green kind of looks cool okay i think green kind of looks cool and attractive so you can hit out you can check out this okay, click it out 
so player improvement okay so over here you have so answer correct answer move forward it depends on you so if someone gets a correct answer should he move to the next step or so you just said the default is one one step okay but you can randomize it you can make it random you can move from one to six if you want the computer can make it random but at, at this point let's go with the default uh, one space you can move one space if you get the correct answer and if he doesn't get the correct answer for example he get an answer incorrect he can move backward you can put penalty maybe to one step or you can move up to random okay but you can let's say there is no penalty for this students are free to fail if they want if they can guess if they didn't guess it right they remain where they are so you can put some music if you want to play in the background you can just select you can run this one and you can clear the board if you want and for example you can have a preview of the music and i think this one kind of looks cool if you are free to check for other ones if you want and once you're done here you can come to questions and you start typing your questions here okay so let's say you the questions that you want to you want to start with you feel free to ask any question related to anything so so what part of speech is the word cut so you're free to add an image you can bring in even a youtube video or you can you're, you're free to bring in an audio track to add specifically to this question okay so let's say we want to add a, you can check the image library if you have and you can just bring in the image of a cat for example this one and we've just added it and let's say we have an answer to this question you can check out what kind of answer is going to be is it going to be a multiple choice or is it going to be a short answer so let's say we make it a short answer you can just enter the answer from here let's say it's a noun you, you can put in the description to explain to the student why it is a noun or you can leave it uh, on your own if you want all right so next is you add so we are free to finish with the first question you can click on here to add an answer if you want and you can also come here to add a question so question one is done so question two you can click to add question two so enter the question so you can choose the kind of answer that you want you can make it multiple choice or you can make a short answer i leave it as short answer for now so we enter the word and we put an answer okay so we put an answer and you're free to delete the answer or you add an answer to this if you want so you can you can explain to the student why it is why it is uh, action words okay action words let's say let's just one okay so you can add the questions as well so let's say in this question at this time we want to make it you can make it true or false okay so you enter the question from here the sum of four and six is nine true or false so you can check the answer so let's say we click on true uh, we click on false so the anyone you have it checked is the correct answer so the computer is going to take it as the correct answer so you're free to bring in any other thing so let's say you can add images or you may choose to leave it uh, depending you can navigate according to the questions and you can check and play around with them okay so once you're done you can check out other settings from here you, should, you can give the uh, the title the game a title so let's say catch your phone give a description choose a language you can always use english if you have another language you can put that you're interested in choose a category say education and put choose more options but at this point i think i can leave it that like that you have the quality score you can make it choose a background to do add spaces for player movement create the question set game title and set game description if you all want this you can enable accordingly okay so once you're done preparing the board setting the questions and putting out settings and everything you can come over here and say finish and congratulations on making your first game nice work now you can you may want to play the game play your game and invite students share your game with others others to, to use it or make make further edits to your game so let's say we want to play the game and invite students to join so this is the win criteria first player to finish wins okay at the finish the player's position will become looked and locked and remaining and remaining questions are only for academic purposes and will have no effect okay so we say continue so let's say this is it you can randomize the question if you want you can randomize it maybe from one to three to five something like that okay answer strict and answer strict you can enable all these power ups okay show correct answer after incorrect submission yes try again when answer is incorrect you can enable that but for now let's say we go with all this feature and we say go 
and we can start by joining the game so you, uh, participants can join either using this this link or they can just go to the website and enter this code once you enter this code you will be in the game so let's try it and see okay so i put the access code and say join say play so you can see dr rashid just joined okay so you can close this and you can see dr rashid just joined us so take a look at the background and how the whole thing is being uh, set out okay so you can stop the game you have 15 minutes to start and once you start you can click on over here to start the game you can click on start right now and you can say the sum of four and six is nine false i give my answer as false you say correct you can go to the next question okay so your, your score had been increased by one point and you can see dr rashid moving up okay so the next thing what part of speech is the word cat okay so i can just type and you can say correct okay so this is going to move me to one more step okay so next question you move for a step what is a verb so maybe I can put action word, action words. Okay, you can say submit and you say correct. Okay, you can see it. You can say next question and you moved. You scored hundred percent. How would you rate the game? Great and fun. So you can view your results directly from here, and you can see, yeah, Dr. Rashid is the winner for this game. Okay, you can see the longest trick is three and it's Dr. Rashid and the toughest question. So this is just a bit on how to use the quiz wizard to create games and for to make your class very, very interesting and intriguing and even engaging with your students. Feel free to try it and have the experience of it. Now, uh, okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is about quiz wizard. If you enjoyed this video or you learned anything today, Please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification buttons to stay connected to this channel for more of our very very useful videos. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.